Hi folks, my name is Mitch, just doing another video on a game that I'm currently playing called Harvest Town. Please keep in mind that anything mentioned here may or may not change in the future. This game is currently in beta. <clears throat> Today I wanted to do a new video, a more updated video on um, how to kind of place your, um, your little farm plots uh, to grow your crops and everything. I uh, did one not too long ago. Uh, but a, lot, a couple of things have changed since then, so just wanted to make an updated video. And hopefully, maybe some of you guys have found this helpful. Um, and if you have any tips, just please feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, with that being said, let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to mention is that you will be, uh, as, you're, as you are leveling up, <clears throat> you're going to uncover a lot of um, land plots on your farm. And you're gonna bump into a bunch of these uh, sacks, these crates. Uh, what you want to do is you want to dig them up, and the reason why is because they provide you with uh, a number of uh, of resources: uh, seeds, um, wood, stone, nails, so on and so forth. So um, just don't ignore them. Uh, clear them out of the way. Use your shovel and everything. All right. With that being said, let's get started. Uh, what I do recommend. If you have an opportunity to do so later on, whenever you have a chance to do so and you have enough diamonds to do so, is to buy these super sprinklers. You don't have to buy them all. You, know, you buy whatever you're going to need. <coughs> and the great thing about these super sprinklers is that it covers a 7x7 seven seven grid. It's much stronger than the normal sprinkler that you can make. Um, you can make a normal sprinkler, but it only covers a uh, range of 2 grid and it's pretty small um, so I don't really recommend these you have a maximum of six because the, the reason why I don't recommend them is because this game will give you diamonds you don't have to spend any money um, on obtaining them I haven't spent any money at all and I've purchased a lot of different things and upgraded a bunch of my buildings using diamonds so <clears throat> with that being said we're going to do a layout using the super sprinkler and we're just going to plop it right there and we're going to make the um, square accordingly to how big the sprinkler is now I'm going back and touching my sprinkler just to make sure I cover everything that it's gonna cover <clears throat> so the thing that changed with the um, patch um, that happened not too long ago is that any beneficial bonuses that um, buildings provide no longer have to be next to the item that it affects. Uh, meaning that before in the past, you have to put a well next to the crops in order for it to have a chance to double out the output. <clears throat> now you can put a well anywhere you want. So uh, this way it opened up basically <coughs> a good chunk of your area um, you don't have to worry about putting a well next to it anymore. And it'll still provide the same benefit. The things that you do have to worry about is uh, crows. Uh, crows and squirrels. Um, so crows and squirrels don't really affect your crops too bad. But they do kind of provide a type of annoyance, a nuisance. Um, they'll steal your seeds and they'll leave like little empty holes in your um, plots. <coughs> so you're going to need two things. You're going to need a scarecrow and you're going to need um, a fence around your plot. So just keep in mind that this is, again, not going to be the most efficient way. Um, but this is the way that I like it just because it's uniform. Um, people will say otherwise, but uh, it is what it is. I surround my sprinklers with four scarecrows and these scarecrows will cover everything there in that plot. <clears throat> this plot here that I'm digging out <clears throat> will cover 44 crops. So if you have two of them side by side, then it's 88 crops. That's just 11 shy of 99, the maximum that you can buy. Of seeds at any given time so let's visit the area that I have set up 
Um, excuse me, I'm dealing with a cold that I'm getting over. <clears throat> so these are the super sprinklers that I have. And I'm using the, um, the Demon Scarecrow, the one that you can buy in the uh, shop as well. Um, I do not suggest you buying these because they're really not worth it uh, for what they provide. Um, unless, of course, you have diamonds to spare, and which I do. That's why I purchased them. So, all right. As you can see here, I fenced off my place. I use chests as a fence as well. I use lampposts, basically anything to prevent any anything from getting through. There's a gate to make sure that I can actually get through into the crops. There's my beehives. <clears throat> so anything and everything can be used as a fence to prevent the squirrels from getting in. And the scarecrows will prevent the crows from getting flying in. <clears throat> um, another thing that I really want to mention was just the fact that you don't have to cover your entire um, farmland with um, basically plots for your crops. Uh, it does become very, very tedious, especially if you're planting uh, 10 stacks of tomatoes. You're spending half of the in-game day just grabbing and watering and and storing and sorting out your tomatoes so it it, it will pretty much drive you nuts uh, this game is meant to be enjoyed um, and doing something so repetitive especially from what we just experienced in terms of uh, uh, of the the January event with the H coins the the amount of hay almost drove me insane to the point where I wanted to just take a break from this game uh, but yeah, so just do know, um, going back, this is my setup that I used before in the past. Uh, it's a low maintenance, low cost setup, 44 crops in here. Um, very easy to maintain. Don't need to water it or anything. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. And again, please feel free to leave a comment below if uh, you want to make a suggestion or anything. And thanks again for watching. Take care.